Good day students, welcome to mathgodserve.com. In this clip we're going to be going over another problem in our differentiation um, collection. We're going to be finding the derivative of y equals e to the negative x sine 3x. Alright, so before we get started finding the derivative um, of this function, let's refresh our memory on some differentiation rules that we are going to be using for this problem. Okay, so I'd like you to remember the following. Recall. <clears throat> First of all, you want to remember the differentiation rule for um, e to the x. The derivative of e to the x is simply e to the x. And then a constant multiple rule, the derivative of ax, ax prime, is simply a. How about your trigonometric differentiation rules? The derivative of sine x is cosine x. And then we are also going to be making use of the um, product rule here, uv prime. The derivative of a product of two functions u times v is given by v u prime plus uv prime. And then we have the chain rule which is used for differentiating the composite function f of g of x. So if we differentiate that, we're going to have uh, the derivative of the outer function f prime evaluated at the inner times the derivative of the inner function. Okay? Alright, so now that we've refreshed our memory um, on the necessary differentiation rules that we're going to be applying, Let's go ahead and get started with the problem. So we have uh, y equals e to the negative x uh, sine x, sine 3x. Okay, so this is an exponential function and this is a composite um, trigonometric function. The exponential function is composite also, but um, the operation that's relating both of them is the product. Okay, so since we have a product of two functions, we're going to be using the product rule. Okay, so let's call the first function e to the negative x. Let's call that the u function. And then let's call um, sine 3xv. Okay, so what we have is uh, u times v prime. Applying the product rule highlighted here, u times v prime is simply uh, v u prime plus uh, u v prime. Okay. Now we're just going to go ahead and differentiate both of them independently. Okay, and then we will reinsert the the respective derivatives and function values into this formula and then determine what the final result is going to be. Okay? Alright, so we're going to um, step to the side, put some work on the side here. We're going to start by um, differentiating the first function, e to the x. So we call, we call that u. So u is equal to e to the negative x. This is a composite function. We are composing a linear function, negative x, as an inner function that has been inputted into the exponential function e to the x. So we, are, we need to use the chain rule when differentiating composite functions. So we'll start off by decomposing the function. The outer function is f of x, which is e to the x. And then the inner function uh, is this negative x component right here. So that's the inner function and we'll call that um, g of x. Okay, g of x is negative x. So now we're going to proceed to differentiate both functions so we can apply the chain rule. So f prime of x is the derivative of e to the x which is just e to the x and then g prime of x using the um, constant multiple rule that we talked about if you're differentiating a linear function 
of the format y equals mx plus b, your derivative is simply the coefficient of x. In this case, it is negative 1. Okay? So we're going to now use the um, product, sorry, the chain rule. So for the chain rule, we have u prime. u prime is going to be the derivative of the outer function, so f prime, evaluated at the inner function, the inner function is g of x, okay, and then that this will be multiplied by the derivative of the inner function. So what we're basically going to do is we're going to take um, g of x and plug it into f prime of x and then multiply that result with g prime of x, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. We can clearly see that u prime is going to be um, e to the x evaluated at negative x is e to the negative x. And then we'll multiply that by the derivative of g, which is negative 1. If we simplify this, we are going to end up with u prime equals negative e to the negative x. All right? So we are done with... Um, u prime. Now the next step is to find out what v prime is. Okay, so for this one we're going to be uh, differentiating uh, sine 3x. So v is equal to um, sine 3x. So the task is we want to find v prime. Okay. Um, so we're going to have to differentiate this function, uh, decompose this function again, since it's a composite function. All right, so our outer function um, is going to be f of x. So the outer function is the trigonometric function right here. So f of x is the outer function, that's sine uh, x. And then the inner function is going to be this linear function right here, uh, g of x, which is uh, 3x. Okay? Now we're going to go ahead and differentiate both functions as we did in the previous um, part when we were looking for u prime. So f prime of x is the derivative of sine, which is cosine x. And then uh, g prime of x is the derivative of 3x using the constant multiple rule. That's just 3. Now we're going to apply the chain rule. So we have um, v prime. v prime is the derivative of the outer function. f prime evaluated at the inner. Just to review, g of x. And then we'll multiply that by the derivative of the inner function. All right, so that's the ch uh, chain rule for you. So just to show you what we're doing visually, we're taking the inner function, g of x, and plugging it into the derivative of the outer function, and then multiplying our answer by the derivative of the inner function, three, which is 3. All righty, so v prime is going to be f prime of g of x, which is uh, cosine um, cosine 3x, and then we'll multiply that by the derivative of the inner function, which is 3. Alright, if we rewrite this properly, we're going to have v prime um, as v prime equals 3 cosine 3x. Alright, so that's v prime for you. So we have all the components that we need. We're now going to plug it into the um, product rule that we had set up at the onset of this problem. Okay? All right, so let's do it. Y prime, y prime is going to be V, what is V? Sine 3x, so V times U prime. Determine that u prime is negative e to the negative x, so that's v u prime plus u. u is um, e to the negative x 
that times uh, v prime. v prime is 3 cosine 3x. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and um, simplify this entire problem. Our final answer is going to be y prime equals uh, negative e to the negative x sine 3x and then plus 3e to the negative x cosine 3x. Alright, and then we can um, factor out e to the negative x and just rewrite this. But before I do that, let me just add an additional step here just to explain what I did here if you are confused. Um, so what I did here is y prime I had u, I'm, I'm sorry, v which is sine 3x and I, I multiply that by the derivative of u. So u was e to the negative x. So we did u prime, okay? And then we added that to um, u, which was e to the negative x. And then we multiply that by the derivative of v, which is sine 3x. Okay, we look for sine 3x prime. All right, so the derivative of this is that. The derivative of that is that, just to make it clear exactly what I did. Okay, so I can factor out e to the negative x from these two. Um, and then we have y prime is equal to e to the negative x times negative sine 3x plus 3 cosine 3x. Now, we can also reorder this and just write the positive one first. So we can rewrite this as y prime equals e to the negative x times 3 cosine 3x minus sine 3x. It doesn't make any difference. It's just a different way. This is a more elegant way of expressing um, the final result. Okay? So this is basically how you find the derivative of e of um, e to the negative x sine 3x. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. I really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your studies of the chain rule, to give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is extremely valuable to us. If you have any special requests for a differentiation tutorial you would like to see, just place it in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to assist you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other tutorials such as this. More, um, the entire collection of differentiation tutorials and resources to help you master calculus can be found at mathgoodserve.com. Do check it out. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.